Hey, what up everyone? I'm Cine Cool, and this is Gems of War. And today we got Lazara's Lair. This faction is expanding. Earn a new troop from the event shop. So it's a weekend faction event for Lazara's Lair. We're getting a new troop. We're getting a deep delve. Um, it's, it's one of the harder ones. It's one of the probably top five hardest faction events. So if you don't have it done right now... You might want to invest some gems. It depends where you're at in the, in the game and how many gems you got and everything. Because it does cost 2,000 plus gems to go all the way to 500 and to get it done this weekend. And um, previously, before we had all these other things to spend gems on and, and, and stuff, like I would do them if, if I wasn't done. I would do them. I would get them all the way to 500 whenever they popped up on the weekends. But ever since they introduced like the Underspire and, and Stellarix and, and, and Epic Trials and all that junk... Like, gems are very, like, uh, hard to come by, basically. Like, you gotta spend a bunch on a bunch of things, and you kind of just have to make the decision for yourself if you're going to go to 500 on this one or not. So, yeah, let me get everything set up here. I'm a little bit late. My clock is wrong. It says 12.30 right now. Uh, we had the spring forward, and I don't know what's up with it. I keep changing it, and it keeps falling back behind. I don't know. I need to look at my phone or my computer instead. I look at this wall clock that I look at, but <laughs> I should look at my phone or my computer instead. It's an excuse. All right, let me put in uh, intro for chapters. I see Sauna, Livewire, Effley, Mark. What is up? Intro. I think these live streams are going to start being earlier. Like, the further we get into the year, we're probably going to get closer to 10 a.m. It's because, uh, you know... Spring break is happening in a week or two. Um, you know, kids are going to be getting out of school, like, at the end of May. I'm just saying, like, if we're still going at that point, uh, the further we get into the year, the the earlier the streams probably will get every day. Especially, like, the summertime, if they're, they're all, everybody's off every day. Like, I might even start at, like, 10 a.m. on the dot. I don't know. But the further we go, the, 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 the earlier it's going to be. So today I wanted to start a little bit later just to... Because I know that's going to be a thing coming soon. Let's put this thumbnail on. Boop. Let's get our playlist set up. But you know, faction events. Um, You go into the shop, we got a new troop, so you kind of want to buy up to the new troop. And it doesn't want to do it. Come on, dum-dum. You want to buy up to the new troop. Um... You want to have your horde level up so you so you so it's easier. Then you have potions from your horde level and potions from your your shop. Um, we'll go over it here in a second, but I'm trying to talk you through my uh, stalling. Uh, Gems of War live stream. Gems of War done. I'll put a chapter in so you can skip all this stuff. Appreciate you if you're watching after. Ah, the laptop wants to be freezing. Wants to be freezing. So yeah. Let's get out of here. Y'all keeping up with everything? You doing a certain amount of PvP a day, a certain amount of Tower Doom a day, a certain amount of Underspire a day? Y'all keeping up with everything? It's kind of hard. You gotta remember a bunch of stuff. Doing For me, I failed. I did not do the rest of my purple kills yesterday. I just remembered that this morning. I was like, oh no, I forgot. I thought I was done. Yeah, this stuff is not wanting to save on my end here. So I'll just jump into the chat and get going. We can fix it later. Maybe it'll fix itself as we stream. Tomorrow we'll have spoilers for you. Probably early, like 10 a.m. Chad with the two running out there. Buttcrack is showing brag in his back pocket. Trying to start that bad boy up. We gotta get out of here, y'all. We gotta get out of here. We gotta get it started. We gotta go. Doing good so far in March. I wouldn't say we're like crazy to where we need to slow it down or anything but we're on track if we keep going the way we've been going the first half of march we should be fine for the rest of march especially with the chatathon coming next weekend i think i'm gonna do it next weekend i gotta check i'll let y'all know might be the weekend after i feel like we always do the vault event maybe we'll do something else this time mm, right here right there are you muted or not now you are. All right. There we go. Okay. Live chat. There we go. Okay. We got Sana, Livewire, Effley, Mark, uh, Chad, R.E. is here. Glorfindel. Oh, my goodness. What's up, dude? Glorfindel is here, y'all. 
Supernova Mark Mon Livewire Glorfindel says, uh, nope, just started up again, bit out of the loop. Sure, I will work it out. We can help you, man. Just ask if you have any questions. Uh uh uh. You still in a guild and everything? Did you get kicked out of a guild? Like that'd be the first thing I would think. When I when I if I if I take a break, if I ever take a break, which I haven't in like seven years, um, the first thing I would be looking at is like, am I still in a guild? Do I need to go find a guild? Like guild, guild, guild. Would be the first thing to catch up on. Get back in a guild. All right, let's check it out here. I'm probably gonna get these guards off. I don't know though. Let's get our. Let's collect our uh, blinkies. On collected event rewards, I forgot to grab my class event. Let's see what kind of offers we got. Nothing too good. I think I am working on this one, though. Mm. Then, games. New faction assault. Lazara's Lair. Defeat layers and their bosses to score epic points! Exclamation point. So you want to do every single room. You want to buy up to the new troop. You want to do every single room. Um. So here's the new troop right here on tier 3. If you don't have the weapon, buy up to the weapon. If you do have the weapon, you don't have to, but you might have to anyway. Like, I can't remember exactly where you have to buy up to to get to all rewards on a weekend faction event. It's somewhere around tier 3, tier 4. So if you don't, that's what I would say. If you don't have the weapon, buy up to the weapon. If you do have the weapon, try to do tier 3. And then if you have to, maybe you have to buy one more. But um, I would try to do it for three tiers. And see where that, that puts you. You can always buy an another one later. The Staff of Insanity did make our top 5, top 10 faction weapons. Not something you're going to use, but we went over all the faction weapons on one of our live streams, and it was just like, we came up with four good ones, and we had to figure out, like, oh, what's the fifth one? And uh, that's the one I said. Somebody else said something else, and, you know, it's probably a top ten faction weapon for sure. Maybe top seven, top five, something like that. But not a top three or top four. But you want to get them. I mean, right now you're doing this event. You, you're going to go to all rewards if you're a normal player that's doing what you should be doing. You should go to stage 16, get all rewards. So to be able to do that, you have to buy up in the shop at least to three or four. So you might as well go to that extra step and get that weapon because you're doing it anyway. You're going to get turns. You're going to get the new troop. You're going to get the treasure and, and the potions and all that. So now's the time to get the weapon if you don't have it. All right, so we bought up to the shop. We got the new troop. Um... Let's uh, make a team. I'll uh, put in a chapter here. If it'll let me. Remember. It's being dumb. I feel like the mic is in a weird spot. Hold on. Okay. Let's try to put this chapter in. Um, I'll just say we started at like 7.30 because it's been a minute. I've been talking for a minute. All right, hit that like bucket button. Hit that like bucket and turn in your ticker. All right, let's make a high level team. See what y'all are saying first, though. Sana says celebrate good times. Oh yeah, Livewire says what's up? Question mark. Uh, we're doing um a live stream on Lazar's Lair. That's what's up. Epley says, morning. Mark says, hey, uh. Sana says, hey, uh. Live, da, da, da. Ari says, hey, hey. Chat says, what's up, Senny, Sana, and Sinners? The SSS. Glorfindel, hello. Supernova, hello. Spring break is coming to your face. <laughs> choo choo, says Mark. Glorfindel says, nope, just start up again. I read that. Sana says, no, no, butt crack. Well, we gotta go fix that, you know? Like, Glorfindel's running out there trying. He said, I may have joined a Bracket 1 guild by mistake. <laughs> That's, uh, gonna be crazy. They might, um, wanna, want you to do a certain amount of things, you know? Spraining your eyes. What's up with your, oh, your, your butt crack. <laughs> They're out there fiddling around with the suspenders. I don't know, That's that might do it. That might do it. He's covering up his crack with the rag while he's trying the suspenders, you know? 
Orvindel says this new doomed bucket and spade is pretty loopy, better than the usual shite. You're right about that? They uh, nerfed uh, Chalcedony, Seekra, Todd, all those, and then they introduced weapons that are pretty similar. The uh, Doomed Volge and the Doom Spade. We have purple and brown so far. They're going to go down all colors. So we're going to end up having one for each color uh, by the time they're done. You know how they do it. Like, they do the books. They do every color for the book. Um, they do the uh, the dagger. They do every color for the dagger. They do, you know, they're they're going to do every color for the uh, the shovel now. The combat shovel. Alright, so what do we got? We got purple and yellow. What do you think I'm going to do for the high level? You know already, most likely. Oh, we got purple and yellow? Ooh. We could do the, the funny the funny team. We can do the funny team. You guys want to do the funny team? So I can laugh and laugh and laugh. It's the funny team. We'll do, we'll do two other teams, I promise. So if you can't do this team, like, don't worry. Hang in there. I'll help you out. Just let me laugh at the game for a minute here. Um, so class doesn't matter. And banner really doesn't matter. You just need to pick some sort of blue, red, and yellow combo. So it doesn't matter too much. You can just do this. Don't minus blue, red, or yellow. And it doesn't even really matter. You can pick any banner you want class doesn't matter the team just wrecks so yeah let's go let's go take a first spin let me put in another chapter for high level if it'll let me it's not wanting to let me right now so i'm gonna have to copy paste again uh, la raza start 730 and then we got high level team at the 1250 all right i'll just leave it up and not save i guess keep adding to it and then copy paste it mark with the two oh yeah now three people out there with the we're covering his butt crack with the rag we're, we're adjusting the suspenders trying to clip them on he's like wriggling around he won't let you do it he's like trying to dance or something maybe he had a little bit too much to drink and um you know you guys finally get the the suspenders on there and you get to work let's say so appreciate it mark we got the three amigos out there all right high level team let's go you knew I was going to pick it? Yeah. I got to laugh at it. I think it's hilarious. Um, we didn't actually get it there. It's still fast. Go! Alright, we got to watch this thing in action. See how many times it does the thing. Gave the enemy a turn that time. Alright, multiplier order is what I do. You don't want to do that, you don't have to. Treasure multiplier order. Just pick the highest number. The lowest room. Of the highest number. Didn't do it there either, but yes it did. Because we got an extra turn. It's still our turn. The enemy didn't get a turn, so that counts. I'm counting that. 1.3. 1.4. 1.25. 1.2. do 1.4. So remember to do every room. That way you get the max amount of points. You don't waste your sigils. Um, faction events, you use the sigil at the beginning of, of the, the whole layer. So you don't use one per room like you do in the Tower of Doom. So you want to hit every single room, that way you're getting more points and more chances at Vow Ravens. You don't just skip straight to the boss until you're pretty, until you're 100% sure you're going to get all rewards. Or you are already got all rewards and you're just going for 500. That's when you would do that. Especially at the beginning when the rooms are easy, like, don't skip. Go through all rooms. Get those points. 1.3. So yeah, this one. Taka Halka. Yep. Click and win. It's not doing exactly what I want it to do yet. But still, still doing it. I want to just get, I want it to be empowered. I just want to click the button. I want to click one button. It's funny when you only have to click one button. 
Come on, baby, do it. Yeah, look. I didn't, I've done nothing yet. Ready? One button. That is a game. It's nothing like, remember in Elden Ring when I fought that boss and I just pushed one button and I won? You know that video I put out yesterday where I just pushed the one button? It's exactly like this. It's more like there was a boss I fought in Elden Ring where I glitched it and I pushed my way through the uh, an enemy pushed me through the fog and then the boss was just standing there and would not attack me and then I just like jumped around and rubbed my butt on it and like you know rode on its back and stuff and it wouldn't attack me and then I just started hitting it hitting it hitting it hitting it wouldn't hit me back like it's more like that the one button and win Mike D, what's up, man? How you doing today? 1.2, 1.15. I had another kind of crappy day yesterday, but I won't bore you all with that. That's like every day. <laughs> if I have a good day, I'll let you know. Just assume I had a bad day, unless I say I had a good day. We got nothing going on today. I'm still trying to move and just nothing shaking. Really no irons in the fire at the moment. Extra turn. Bang. Enemy did not get a turn. It's the Talk Hawka. But we'll make a, another team. We'll make a mid-level and a low-level. So you don't... If you don't have Stellarix. Or three Talk Shakas. I know it's super bougie. And I, might, I probably won't even use this one because... Unless I'm in a jam and I just need to get it done quickly. Because I want to level my Necromancer that I've been leveling. So I'll probably pick something slightly different. Like I might turn it into a traditional purple Stellarix team with like Thrall and Leprechaun and my hero. It'll make it a little bit slower, but I'll be getting class experience. And then like if it's Sunday and I need to hurry up and get done, I might, I might switch back to this. Just to hurry it up. There you go. Nothing really matters. The team code isn't really, you know, it doesn't really matter. Because you're just going to do Stellarix and Triple Talk Shaka. The class doesn't matter. Unless you don't have all your class weapons. Then you could pick a class where you don't have the class weapon. And that would count towards your victories. But, you know, the banner really doesn't matter. And the class really doesn't matter. Maybe you pick a banner that has to do with the um, elemental, uh, you know, the whatever it puts on the board. The elemental, or this one. The wild card. So maybe you would pick a banner that has to do with a wild card and the colors that are on a wild card. Is it every color, though? I don't remember. I think it's like... Whatever. Just a thought. Sauna with the gifted running out there. Yeah, now we're deep. We're elbow deep into that engine and we're firing it up. I think we're it's sputtering to life. Will we get out in time today? Emergency broadcast system told you to go to the train station. It's the only place left that's still running. Everything else is, you know, consumed by zombies and hordes of uh, undead. And they said that's the only place left. You have to go there, and but then you get there and the train's not working. So you got to, like, fix it and get it going. So we got it. We started it. It, like, sputtered to life. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. There you go. High-level team. Let's make uh, something for people that don't have this. And, you know, you got, um, you could do Guard's Avatar if you don't have that. I'm, I'm going to do a mid-level team, so I'm not going to do Mythics. But, um, if you do, if you don't have Stellarix and you happen to have Guard's Avatar, Sir Quentin Hadley, that'd be a good choice. Uh, purple, you know, Thrall and Leprechaun with your best damage dealer, whether it's, like, Diamantina or Stellarix or whatever you got that, you know, the Red Macaco or something. Like, you could do something like that, too. You know, Thrall and Leprechaun's a good start to a lot of teams i might even just do that right now but let's look through stuff see what we got mid-level we'll go legendary legendary troops you could do uh your spade or or your uh uh you know you got access to all the weapons so you could start with that if you wanted to your spade or your vulge Just trying to give you some ideas. If you don't like what I end up doing, you can then uh, use one of those other ideas. Got a Sensia if you want to do some dragons. 
Holy St. Astra, but no Tesla. King Salinas, Luna. I'm trying to find something I like. Queen Titania. Shagaroth. You know I love Shagaroth. I might just do it. I think it's one of the most powerful. Other than like, you know, as far as uh, not a mythic. I love some uh, Shagaroth. Well, you got Phenoxia too. You could do a little mixture here. Instead of doing two, you can do this. You guys could have probably guessed. Alright, so now we got uh, Vinoxia, a dragon. We could 50% start it with Ascensia. And we got Shagaroth. Can't do Mirage. So I'm probably going to do Thrall or Leprechaun. And then a weapon. Almost like Thrall better. But it's purple, I don't know. Let's just do Leprechaun. Go down to L. King of the Ravens? I like King of the Ravens. And then for our weapon, we just don't want to block uh, blue or green. Really? That's usually what I say. So then I have trouble coming up with the, uh, the weapon every single time. Because I want the blue to go back into the Shagaroth, and I want the green to go back into the Vinoxia. Let's just see again. I don't know. I'm going to look through everything again like I always do. And I always forget what I use for this team. You know what I think I'm going to do? Mm. Green and blue. Hmm. I was going to say Doomed Vulge. Anyway, let's look through them all. I might do Doomed Vulge. That's one thing that's coming to mind. You got Amethyst Band. Purple's fine. Just the green and the blue I don't want going back into the weapon, really. It'd be cool if we got, like, a, um, a green or a blue storm. You guys have any suggestions so I'm not sitting here looking forever? What's, uh... Nah, it don't work. Keep looking. You could do any explodey. Like, Mountain Crusher would probably be cool. Obsidian Librum. Gives you a summon. Uh, Reflection of Good would be fine. Might just go Mountain Crusher, make it really uh accessible. Yeah, or maybe Obsidian Libra. Must be. Let's do that. And then, like that. Class, I would go Thief or Archmagus. Does this thing have any kind of storm on it? Nope, but it has an enchant. I'm gonna go Thief. I like Thief. No, because I don't know. I don't want a purple storm, really. I'll go Archmagus. Or maybe we help our storm out, our uh, loop out. There we go, Archer. Anyway, you could do Archer, Archmagus, or Thief. Whatever you want to pick. I'm going to do this. Banner. We got all purple. And then green looks good. Minus red, sure. Alright, let's go with this. So, mid-level team, if you don't have the first one, which I know a lot of people don't. Go with something like this. Very accessible. 
You know, the Vinoxia is probably the hardest thing to get, and it's just a legendary. You could double up on Shoggoroth instead, and it would still work out. If you have other things to put with it, put them with them. You know, like, um, I don't know. Some other true damage. You can use a different weapon if you want, a different class if you want. Let me put a chapter in, if I can. Twenty-six, fifteen. Eight. Stop it. Alright, mid-level team, let's go. No mythics. This is to make sure everybody except for a beginner will have a team. Let's get that red out of here. And we'll cast this. Probably should have actually done Leprechaun there, but it's okay. Early on, we're just going to wipe them quickly like that. Later, we're going to feed into the Shagaroth, and then uh, that'll explode and finish things off. We're going, we're going the true damage route here. All right, Chad, you have a good one, man. Mount Crusher is almost always a good option. Even if you're using brown, because it'll make a brown storm. It blows up brown. Like, Let's do this. reason I'm doing it is because this is already full. This uses purple. So if we use the Leprechaun instead of this, we can any purple we explode will go into the Vinoxia and the Shagaroth. So now they're both up. If I had casted the Librum, maybe only one of them would have got up. But this early, it probably doesn't matter. Just trying to play right, so you know, you know, could show you what you should be doing. So 1.3 looked like our highest. Come on, dude. But it's on the lower room, so I picked the lower room because I want to wait, build my multiplier. So when I take the higher room, I have a higher multiplier and I get higher. Uh. Loot. My theory, anyway. That's how it was explained to me way back in the day. See how Vinoxia fed uh, Shagaroth there? Shagaroth got up. I can never remember, though. 1.3 was the highest, right? So we gotta do both of the legendary rooms now. If in doubt, mount, get Mountain Crusher out, says Glorfindel. That's the truth. Something everybody has. And it's good. Like, here the reason you would use it is because, um... You know, it doesn't use green or blue or... Or, or purple. And it, even though it explodes brown, it's still going to explode the entire board and every other color with it. Yeah, they get a little thing in there. Bang, they're dead. Okay. 1.25, let's go. You guys looked at the spoilers at all yet? I haven't. I usually wait till it's Saturday morning. I think we got a vault event next weekend. That's why I'm like considering maybe doing the chatathon next weekend. It's almost funner to do it on a non chatathon weekend though, because we can jump around and do different things. And there's so much to do in the game. It's like when you have a vault event, you have to do the vault event the entire time, or you're not doing the right thing. You got to do it. So you're gonna. I'm just gonna be sitting there doing Iron Hawks all weekend. So, you know, if we do it on the following weekend when there's some other event like we can do whatever the event is of the weekend and then we can also do pvp you know under spire everything else so I'm not, i don't know yet i do like to put it off as long as possible because i always feel like anxious about it so could start right now like trying to 
drink a ton of water, use a humidifier, like, get ready. <laughs> My voice went out the last two in a row. That happens three times in a row, I'm gonna be really mad. To really pace myself. Not like ripping out of the gate. Riding it wet or putting it away. What do they say? Riding it hard and putting it away wet. That's what I do with my voice. Ride it hard and put it away wet. Why does that sound so dirty? Y'all still doing all your faction events? I think it's something uh, some people out there might skip here and there, which they shouldn't. You should do everything the game presents to you, like all the events. Especially if they give you free stuff. Like, they're giving you free sigils, and you just gotta buy a little bit more. You're investing into the event to then get all the rewards back, which ends up, you end up ahead. So I feel like some people, I bet you some people out there are like skipping the Tuesday faction event, like maybe skipping the class event on Thursday. Like there's just too much going on in the game. They're not doing their share in their guild event. Like being selfish. If you're not doing your share in a guild event, you're being, you're being selfish. That's one of the first things you should think about. There's so many single player things in the game. It's almost to a detriment to where the devs are... I don't know, man. You know what I'm saying? Like they keep putting in all these single-player events. And now everybody... There's so much time invested into the single-player stuff that you don't put as much time into your guild event. Which leads to guild tur turmoil and maybe somebody getting kicked out of a guild or... Now if you get kicked out of a guild and you have no guild, everything's going to go terrible. And then you're trying to find another guild and then maybe you just quit the game altogether because you're like, man... I had an argument with my guild. I'm mad now. I don't want to play the game anymore. I can't find another guild. Like, I don't know if it's, like, a good thing that they keep putting all these single-player events in the game. Like, Epic Trials is not a guild event, right? Underspire is not a guild event. PvP, the, the stuff they've added is not a guild event. When's the last time they put in, like, a new guild? Guild event? It was, like, Journey or something. It was, like... That's a long time ago at this point, right? We need something, we need more stuff to, like, bring our guild, like, more guild stuff, I feel. You're nothing without a guild. And the more you do your single player stuff, and the less you do your guild stuff, the worse off you're gonna be. Yeah, there's the uh, mid-level team. Anybody have a good low-level team that you... You know, made up yourself, didn't get somewhere else or something. Because I don't want to, like, show the same team that somebody else showed. If anybody has a good one, I can maybe show it for you. So I don't have to think of something. It's gonna, It's got to be epic and under. No, like, Red Macaco, no Wand, no Dawnbringer. Like, for the low-level players. Anybody have anything good? You think of purple and yellow, you think of, you know, Leprechaun, Thrall, uh, Finesse, um, you know, you could do, you could do your Doomed, uh, Doomed Volge that I hope you have. Dragor's here. Uh, is Chatathon and After Dark the same thing? I had fun at the After Dark. Well, the, the, the After Dark is like the um, red-headed stepchild of the Chatathon. The Chatathon is the actual uh, channel event every other month that, you know, we rely on being successful and everything. Like, you're supposed to get a month off in between the Chatathons because I don't want to, like, bombard you with those. So I do the After Dark and I try not to expect much from it and I, like, purposely make it hard and... Yeah, but the Chatathon is, um... It's this. It's it's not as uh, hard as the After Dark. It's twenty dollars an hour. First hour is free, and we can go all the way to like nine hours or so. Eight nine hours. I might have to just start capping it at like nine because I guess I can't make it. My voice just doesn't make it. I don't know. We'll see. Well, this will be the determining one. 
I mean, if, my, if my voice goes out again on this one, we might have to cap it at like a certain time, like eight hours or nine or something. And not try to keep going and going and going and going and going. The way that other like streamers go, like keep going and going and going, is because they don't talk as much as me. I don't feel like they just like here and there saying things. And I'm just like a motor mouth. And I can't stop myself. I feel like I gotta entertain the entire time. I'm trying, I'm trying. I'll try to like we got Bork. It's a good option. And I'll just mention all the good options and you guys can uh, tell me what you want to see. Um We start here, we start here, let's go, let's just look at everything. You know, Atlanta wouldn't be terrible. I don't know if I'd recommend it or not, but Bork is good. If you have a team with Bork on it, that's good. Um, they need to do, like, some more good epics. Daughter of Time is decent. It's usually put with, like, Mythics and Legendaries, though, so I don't know what you would do, but... Egress is still almost okay. Like you could probably get away with an egress, especially since I have it on shiny level three. Mm. You know, harpy mage. If you you know you got leprechaun, but if you need like the brown storm, maybe. Horny wing. Just kidding. A Lithian Servitor is one that's kind of overlooked. It does hit all enemies. You could put it with, like, Thrall, Leprechaun, and Black Manacles, maybe. Uh, uh, uh. Maybe we'll do that. I haven't showed that. I don't think it's, like, amazing or anything, but... Could probably get you through. What I'm thinking here is, like, people that have no Mythics, no Legendaries. Um, They're just trying to do what they can do. Maybe they didn't buy up as far in the shop. The Pandalista's okay. Does true damage to two random enemies. No longer doing Seekera. Shocktopus? I haven't showed this. Uh, That's an option. Hmm. It really has to work out, though. Like, the enemies have to be using the same colors. Or it's not... Hmm, I got an idea. Let's try it. I gave you two teams that you've seen a billion times, so now I'm going to try to give you one that you haven't. Now, like, should we go... If I had Red Macacle, I would do that. Maybe, like, Life and Death? Is that too high level? It's one you get for, for like, get from Silver Necropolis. If you don't have life and death, just do the red macaco. If you don't have the red macaco, maybe black manacles or a mana generator. It's not the end of the world. I'm going to do this. Something like that. So now we got mech. And then mech. And then we'll do class mechanist. And we just got to hope like the enemies are using the same colors. Is what I'm going for. And then you can shock to push them. All to death. We got a lot of yellow. And some brown. Ah, nothing. So we can't do purple, we can't do green. Hmm. Let's try green. Minus blue. Right, let's give it a shot. If it doesn't work out, I'll, I'll see if I can think of something else. 
See what y'all are saying before I put this uh, timestamp in. Ooh, John got gifted. I haven't seen him in probably a couple weeks. He, he slides in here every once in a while. Sana says, cunning with Captain Saltclaw. Sana does everything all events. Dragor's here. Dr. Mop Sister's here. Maka. You're just on a break at work. Chatathon either next weekend or the weekend after. I still got, I'm still looking at it. I'll try to... I'm always like, you know, I'll let you know a week in advance, hopefully. So I'll, I'll try to decide, like, by tomorrow or the next day. Maybe I'll do a poll. See what you guys want to do. Because I feel like we do a vault event every single chatathon, and I was just like, thinking like maybe we should mix it up and not do a chat or a vault event we do a vault event like every chatathon i don't know if i want to do another one i just feel like it's kind of boring to watch the iron hawks for eight hours straight you're approaching the time of dinner what are you having for dinner i really haven't ate much today i had like a banana i think that's it mark says you have the best rants on youtube i will be at the chatathon well, i appreciate it man Depends what kind of mood I'm in. You guys can always try to uh, set them off, though. I was trying to think of one earlier while I was talking. I'm like, ah, nothing really happened lately. I'm just kind of annoyed in general. A lot of... Oh, like... Dude, yesterday... Okay. <clears throat> like, everybody was going somewhere in my family. And I was, dry, I was taking them there. So, we were leaving. And as we were leaving... My, my complex, my neighborhood, whatever you want to call it. Just gangs of people standing on every corner. Mostly kids, right? Some parents, some kids, just gangs of people everywhere you look. It's so annoying. It's not peaceful at all. They're just screaming, running around, throwing stuff, like doing cartwheels, like running in the road. Like they don't get out of the way when you're driving. Like the worst you can think of. They're, you can look behind a building somewhere and there's people fighting and stomping on each other. Like the police are here all the time. So I'm leaving, take them somewhere, just gangs of people on every corner, just running wild or standing on the corner, you know? So I leave, I take them to the place, I go and visit this other community neighborhood that I've been looking at that I kind of want to go to. I'm driving through that one, Pe so peaceful, nobody. There's like one old lady walking her dog, there's like another lady walking back from somewhere, that's it. I drive around the... The whole complex, because I, I want to compare. I'm like, okay, my my neighborhood, my complex is uh the craziest. It's like on 10, 11, 12. It's like nuts. Like I just want to see what it's what's what's this one look like at the same time. I like to compare. So I drive over there after I drop them off at the place, and nothing. Crickets, just peaceful, so peaceful. Dog park, swimming pool, old lady walking her dog. I even yell. I even say I roll down my window to the old lady. I'm like. You like this? What you like this neighborhood? You like it here? And she's like, "Oh yes, it's very nice." And I'm like, "Okay." And I just like drive away. I didn't want to bug her, but I was just asking. Yeah. So I go out of there. It's super peaceful. I come back to my place, and now the police are there. The police are there. <laughs> they're so I'm like, "Geez, gonna get any worse here?" And there's still like gangs of people, you know, running wild and stuff. Like they don't even care. They're pretty much like doing a TikTok dancing for the police. You know what I mean? Like the, the police are talking to like one kid, maybe two kids. That's it. And then like the other kids are up there like doing a TikTok in the middle of the road for the cops. It's like nuts. Like a, a, an 11 out of 10. Like how crazy and ridiculous this place is. The, the, the cops are here like every other day and they do nothing every single time. So... I just thought it was crazy. Like, I went to the other one. It was, like, so peaceful. Nothing going on. Just so nice. One old lady walking her dog. I come back here, and the cops are here because there's so many people doing so many things, and who knows what they did. I don't know. That's one thing I could think of I could rant about a little bit. <sighs> Glorfindel says, Thrall, double Nightwing, Umbral Tome. I, was, I, had, I almost said, I almost said uh, Nightwing. Cunning is good or finesse? Dragor says, I'm Australian, but I happen to work night shift. I catch the stream sometimes. Maka says, Lady, where you are from? Lady lives in the Netherlands. 
Dr. Mop says, currently playing and catching up at 1.75. That must be fun. I do that too, though. Maka says, I was there once. Drager says, I can't wait until Monday. Where are my fellow Switchers at? Oh, yeah. Nintendo Switch gets caught up. And uh, so I guess I don't have to do your spoilers. Tomorrow, I don't have to do like Switch spoilers. They're going to be with us. They caught, they caught up. Mark said, does anybody here use Warband and mid-late gameplay? I have no use for them anymore. We use the banner. Like, you don't use the team. You use the banners. So the Warband teams will give you a banner, and you'll actually use those banners. So you want to have all the banners. So you get all the Warband teams so you can have all the banners. You really don't care about the troops. Like, early game, when it, like you're level 50 or level 100 or level 150, that's when you buy the Warbands for the troops. Like, you'll get Clockwork Sphinx, and you'll get Shocktopus, and you'll get some Goblins and stuff like that. Some useful troops that, that you know, maybe you can't, you know, you got your little one or two Goblins, and then, like, oh, in the Warband shop, there's Clockwork Sphinx, and this Goblin, and that Goblin. Like, you you do use the troops. But after you get Rowan, and you start getting your Underworld troops and stuff like that, you're not, you're not going to use your Warband teams or troops anymore. But you will use the banners, and you want to get them all eventually you don't have to do it early game or anything just over time as they appear in the shop you want to eventually get all the warband teams so you can get all the banners and then you have access to every single banner because you never know what what you're going to need drager says that's interesting we'll, we'll see because uh the enemy team has to be like all the same color for it to work the way i want it to but we got life and death there we got bork we should be all right we could just life and death them Rydia says, ever so often they release a new banner. Yep. Mark says, uh, your cat just typed to us. Maka says, anyone looking for a team? Taxaholics have a spot? <laughs> yeah, all night. All night long. The chat -a never boring. I know, I try. I try to think ahead of time, too. Like, maybe not, like, a week ahead of time, but, like, a couple days ahead of time. I'll start looking stuff up just in case, just so I have something in my back pocket. Taco Bell? Nope. I do Taco Bell, like, once a month, maybe. The rant -a -thon, that's for sure. I get started early, and I go so hard, I run my voice out. Sauna gifted again. Thank you so much. Revving the engine in the parking lot to annoy all the neighbors. You're at, we're acting like we need to do that to like keep it running, but in all reality, we're just you know revving it because we want to be annoying. Mark says, didn't know that about the banners. Much appreciated. There you go. G glad to help. Someone else in the chat said it too. Chat is smart. All right, let me put this chapter in, and we'll see if this team actually works. I'm trying to do something different. I, I did the talk Hawka, and then I did my, my Shagaroth team I always show with Phenoxia. So I'm trying to do something new here for you. Forty-eight, fifty-five, something like that. All right, low-level team. That means no mythics, no legendaries, no crazy weapons. Life and death is, eh, you know, you have to have had Silver Necropolis, but, you know, put your Red Makako on there if you don't have life and death. You know, Black Manacles probably work fine. All right, so let's look at the enemies. We got a purple, a purple. We got all yellow. This works perfectly. Ready? Choose yellow. Get out of here. Just get out of here. That's almost like the Takaka. All right. Why is this one the only one? What's going on here? You guys see this? Am I tripping? Why'd it jump from here to here? Shouldn't it be like these two? Does that always happen? What is up with that? We, we, we just did this battle. You know, we should have access to, like, this one. But it jumped all the way over here. Should take a screenshot. That's strange. Brian says, so is it worth holding on to warband tokens in case of the new banners? Yeah. You should only buy each warband team one time to get the banner. You should never, like, purchase it multiple times. So eventually you're going to have so many war coins that you're not going to know what to do with them so you just save them and wait for a new one 
if you're like a beginner and you only have so many, just buy the one you think you're going to need and then like, yeah. Isn't that weird though? Happy Friday, Jam Ricks. Yeah, don't waste coins on the 15 coin thingy. Isn't that weird? Like Tyrion, isn't this weird? What's up with this? Why is it jumping me over here? Am I tripping? Sometimes I'm, I'm, be, I'm stupid. Like I have a brain fart. I had a brain fart earlier today that I don't even want to tell you guys about because it's so embarrassing. Uh, let's do that. Okay, what do we got? We got blue, we got red and brown, red and purple, and we got purple and brown. So we could do purple or or brown or red. Purple or brown or red. And one thing to think about is our life and death is going to hit the bottom two slots. So we're... Probably shouldn't do purple. So we're going to do red or brown. I'm probably going to do... We'll see what colors. Okay, so red. We use brown, actually. So let's do brown. We can do that. Win. Guess it doesn't matter as long as the Shocktopus kills two things. You got your life and death to clean it up. Now it's doing weird. Like, why didn't it reveal this and this and this? I went way over here. Strange. Alright, so get up the uh, Bork. Should be your first thing. We don't have it, though. Ouch. Just die. It's cool. I made up a new uh, low-level team. You can get Shocktopus from the Warband shop. <laughs> Purple door was second. We want to hear your brain fart. <laughs> it was too. It's too much. It's too stupid. I was like depressed. How dumb I was. So yeah. Sometimes people make mistakes. All right, what do we got? Brown, brown. But, yeah. Uh, let's do brown, I guess. We're all true damage with the Bork. Sometimes we're going to be able to clear out the entire enemy team in one shot with the Shocktopus. Usually, prob like, probably on the first battle and the last battle. Because uh, it's going to have the faction troops. Did you guys ever notice that? I'm sure you did. It's, like, obvious, but... First battle is the faction team, and the last battle is the faction team. And that's where you're going to see, like, them having all the same color. A lot, Like, this one has a lot of purple. So I can fire on purple. But I probably won't need to. Alright, we got yellow, purple. Of course, they're all different colors. Just do that. And just pick one of them. There's the Discord link if you want to go to the Discord. I'm not there very often because I kind of, uh, you know, like to put big manifestos that nobody wants to read when I'm irritated. So I try to just stay away, but I, I come through there every once in a while and check my DMs and stuff. Make sure there's no questions. Well, I'm not on Discord every single day because then there would be a manifesto every sing every other day. All right, what do we got? Purple, purple, purple. Lots of purple. Let's go. Clean it up. I use Shocktopus uh, sometimes early game. Got a new account playthrough or something. As long as you use, like, if you use it in uh, Vault Keys, you can fire it on red, kill three of them. If you, use it, if you use it right, it's decent. Like right here, we're going to go brown. Two kills. Finish them off. Not as good as like Takaka or Shagaroth, but hey, we're restri restricting ourselves. 
Mark says, I got shocked to puss in my first war band. Loved it early game play. Yeah, it's a good one. It's a, oh, underrated. Look at this. All green and all purple. Let's go. Let's pick the one with the most. Purple. Or pick the one that you actually use the color, I guess. There's different ways to do that. Like Most, most of the time, you're going to want to pick a color that the enemy uses the most so you can kill the most enemies. But sometimes you're going to want mana, so you pick the color that you actually use. And then sometimes it's like you just want to pick the highest... You know, whatever has the most. If you're sure you're going to kill and you want to make sure, or if you're not sure you're going to kill and you want to make sure, pick the color with the most, as long as it's hitting the enemies. You know what I mean. It's usually the first two. Either you're killing all the enemies or you're getting mana. All right, so here, three yellows. Three of them down. Life and death to clean it up. Probably have not seen this team anywhere else except for here. I'm guessing. Maybe. I like when that happens. There you go. Low level team, no mythic, no legendary. If you don't have life and death, hopefully you have the red macaco. And then you'll have three things that are hitting a lot of enemies with true damage. In the Bork, we got a full team of mechs. That was kind of the idea. We're 50% starting everything on our team. Including the Shocktopus. Including the hero. Alright, you want to just play the game normally now or something? What do you guys... you guys want to see anything uh, in particular? Sauna. Mark. Glorfindel. Chad. You guys want to see anything in particular? Jose Roberto Mora is here. How's it going? Some of y'all love the manifestos. You know, it's the people that watch everything that don't like it because, you know... If you only watch me, you probably love the manifestos, but... There's... Some of us watch everything, and, uh... You know, when I go, go off on... Your other guy, you know. You have to have thick skin because you're not in my shoes, so I get it. You don't completely understand. Like, I've had questions before. That's why I put out that video, the crashing out on Christmas. I thought that was going to, like, explain everything, and I could just point people to that video instead of having to explain it over and over. They're like, I like everybody. How come you don't like this guy? I don't want to explain it again. I'm sorry. The Professor with the three. Thank you so much. I've been wanting to make you a, a moderator, Professor, uh, but I haven't, you know, I said, hey, do you want to be a moderator? And you didn't answer the one time. And the other time you weren't here, I think. So it's not like you've had a million chances or something, but. Uh, Sana wants to do epic trials. Let's go. That's what you get for starting up the train. All right, where's it at? We're we're in Wild Plains. Trials. I'm only on 250 because I already did this one. There's no need to do it again. But I don't mind showing it to help people out here. So let's go. Put a chapter in. I'll try to do better chapters. Epic Trials. 59.30. All right, Sana wanted to say, uh, see Epic Trial, so let's go. Um, we're doing mostly Skull damage, right? We're doing the Sunweaver to the Gorgon a bunch of times and then taking Skulls, so let's change our medals to, like, Seasons. Oops. Let's make it even more potent. I'll give us more durability, too. I did move the team around a little bit. So keep your eye right here. Make sure you have the same order if you want to do it the way I'm doing it. I don't know. I think I moved Sunweaver down to the third slot, thinking it's like the most protected slot, whatever. Because I feel like it's the key to victory is the Sunweaver, and casting it on your first slot over and over and over, getting that attack. Uh, 
Now I was going to see, do you want to be one, Professor? Because some people don't like being moderators, so I have to ask first. I don't just make people... I ain't going to make you be one. Because then you got to, like, you know, say hi to people if you don't mind. Like, if, if I haven't said hi to a person yet, you kind of, like, say hi. If uh, somebody's saying crazy things, you can time them out and stuff like that. It's not, like, too stressful. Most time, nobody's here causing trouble and... Like the only thing you need to do is say hi. And Sana and Chad usually get it anyway, so... It's just nice to have, like, just in case they can't be here, to have somebody else. Oh, let's see. I guess we can start with that. Do we have any... Moves we can make? Not really. Let's just do it. Nice. Got some skulls out of it. Uh... I was just trying to think, like, who's been here the longest for the most time. Like, I think you have, Professor. Who well, I haven't seen, like, being a moderator other places and etc. I have, like, a criteria. Like, Chad was a moderator here first, and then he became a moderator somewhere else. So that's not the same. Alright, let's do this on that. And we're just looking for skulls. We got a summon here in case we lose something. We could make some more skulls if we get our attack built up. Mm. I don't know. Let's just... Uh, I don't really want to... We could try to make skulls happen with this, too. I don't think it's going to work right now, but... Let's just take out the bottom row. Alright, still need skulls. Right, let's, uh, we can get some blue. And it gave us skulls. Cool. Taking skulls. Ouch. Alright, Sunweaver, whenever you got it, just cast it on your Gorgon. Is that what he's called? Ooh, they put a bunch of skulls. Ooh, I can do it now. Let's do it. Perfect time. That was a good time. Now we can get two. Ooh, nice. I'm taking some shots, but we're, we're dealing out some damage. Taking it back. It was worth the trade. Here we could hit the lightning gem. There's a couple spells you have that are more like board control type of deals. The Soothsayer and the uh, Gorgon. So you could use the Gorgon to maybe get yourself some either extra turns or line up some skulls or something. Same thing with the uh, Soothsayer. Let's just go for it. Nice. Didn't even lose a troop. Mark got his, first, or his fifth perfect run in two weeks. That's great. Yeah, Mark said he got all of his cosmic dragons, and now he's just uh, waiting for that uh, Dragonite to get his Stellarix. And that's always that feels so good to be at that point because RNG is no longer against you. Like it can help you get there quicker now, but it's not like preventing you anymore. Until you get the three, until you get the, all six of the cosmic dragons, RNG can screw you into making it take forever. You could keep getting the same dragon. Every time you open an egg, you get, like, a purple dragon over and over and over and over, and RNG is screwing you. But once you get all six, it can't screw you anymore. And, you know, you can get perfects and make it go faster. It's just a matter of time. It does take a lot of gems. If you don't get perfects, you do gotta buy the dungeon offer, like, every day. Or as many as much as you can to kind of speed it up. But you don't really have to, if you don't want to. That's what I did, because I wanted to hurry up, get Stellarix, get that out of the way. Now I don't have to spend gems on the dungeon anymore. I'm done with that. Any news on Guild Wars? I haven't seen any. What does it say right now? I still think it's going to be that Alliance thing. It's not even here. Guild Wars is not even here anywhere. Isn't that, isn't that where it's supposed to be? It's supposed to be like Guild Wars is in like three weeks.
This is cool, though. They got raid. You know, you got a raid in two days. You know, you got a journey in nine days. And you know, you got the lost pages, whatever that is, in 16 days. This is kind of cool. Hey, Mark. Uh, yeah. I kind of tried. I'm trying to give you tips as I go. That way you can uh, do it, too. No problem, Jose. I try to talk to everybody. I feel like that's what live streams are for. Oh, okay. So Professor said too much on his plate right now. Okay, no problem, man. I'll keep. I'll see if I can see somebody else out there. All right. Anything else? Anybody want to see something else? You want to see more epic trials? Or here we'll run uh, adventure board and dungeon. And you guys, let me know what you want to see next. I could continue with the epic trials if you want. I'm just giving you a chance to see something else if you want to. So this says, uh, complete a dungeon run. I always look at that before I do it. Or I try to. That way I know I'm gonna have to do it right. Dang, we got Jinx. Let's get it done. Do a poll? Okay. Let's do a poll. See what you guys want to see. I can probably stream... I don't know. I got some time. Start a poll. What do you want to see next? We got Tower of Doom. We got Underspire. We got PvP. We got Vault Keys. That's uh, all the things we haven't done yet. Like if you you could have to you could type in like if you want to see more of the faction event or you want to see more of Epic Trials, like just type it in the chat because it only lets me put four options. But I started a poll. If you don't mind voting, I'd appreciate it. That way I know what you want to see. Okay, we need... We don't have alignment. Let's take the skulls. Once again... It's probably going to hurt. Let's just go. Uh... Let's go with this before he dies. Now this. Man, this is hard. Getting rocked. Might get it. The close one. Hmm. Let's get that instant kill. Come on, Scylla. Uh, not yet. Come on, Scylla. Ah. Oh, no. Oh, it changed it. I gave it more. It's like when you want it to transform, it doesn't. And when you don't want it to transform, it does. It's okay, though. I think we got this. Watch me transform it again. I should probably just hit it with skulls until it's dead. Give me skulls, please. I will uh, close the poll when I'm done with dungeon and an adventure board. So you know how much time you got. I think that'll give them skulls, huh? Pretty, pretty much anything will. Let's try this. Cool. There we go. That was uh, not so easy. Got that jinx on me. Okay, let's go. Yeah, Queen B is good in the dungeon. I'm like stubborn with it. I'm leveling Necromancer. This is my 
dungeon team. I'm I'm stubborn. Unless they really screw me with like silence and curse or something crazy. I'm usually stubborn. I'll even take a loss sometimes and just try again. My only time to use this fun team. Pretty much. That that went way way smoother. That first battle was the hardest one too, it was the two thirty, so it's just gonna get easier. Now we're webbed. Which doesn't really matter, I don't think, with this team. We're not doing spell damage, we're just doing skulls, so. Alrighty. Um, I think I just do it. All right, we're getting we're getting cleansed. Not that it matters too much, but it's nice. With anything like web or death mark or you know, you have like a ten percent chance each turn to cleanse it. If you put on Orpheus medals it raises that. Here we go let's do this. Followed by that. Peanut butter and jelly for the win almost. For the win? Yes. What else you guys been watching on YouTube other than like Gems of War stuff? You guys have anything uh, cool that you found recently? I've been watching this channel called Tommy G. <laughs> he goes to all these crazy places and it's one of those channels where they, they'll go to like a, you know, Hell's Angels rally or something and they just interview people. They'll go to like the Juggalo convention interview people they'll go to like a furry convention you know they just go to all these crazy places and interview people and just i mean well that's like the newest subscription i have probably i found him through brandon brandon buckingham which is kind of a similar channel if you like that kind of stuff i know a lot of y'all probably don't but i'm just trying to think of what i've been watching it's either that or I'll watch, like, cops or something about the war. Like, some shooty-shooty bang-bang pew-pew explosions. I have a couple subscriptions to channels that just go over the war in Ukraine. And then I have, like, you know, a couple channels that go over, like, police activity. It's always fun. Like, this guy tried to do this. And this is what happened to the when the cops showed up. <laughs> All right, adventure board. We did the dungeon. We got a verse here. You might need that. You better get it. I finally killed all my 150 purple troops, but you see how that works? It's almost good that I didn't do it yesterday because that proves my point. I had that 150 purple troops for 100 gems yesterday. I did not complete it. It's still there today. I did not get a new one today. I finished it. I don't have a new one. I have to wait until tomorrow to get a new one. So I missed out on like 20 gems most likely. The good thing though is that I got the good one right now. So I'm not missing out on a good one. So if you leave like one up that's like a 20 gem one. That's even worse than leaving up like a 100 gem one. Like I just took my time and got the good one done. I wish I would have done it last night and got a new one today. But it's not as bad as leaving up like a 20 gem one. Because you could get a 100 gem one the next day. It's like RNG which one you get and everybody gets a different one. Like, you guys don't have the same one as me, probably. So that top adventure board thing, the kill 150 purple troops, you gotta do it every day. That way a new one shows up the next day. That's why. It's kind of like taking your tribute every hour. That way you get a new tribute the next hour. If you leave your tribute, you don't take it, it's gonna be the same one. You're not gonna get more gems. You're just gonna get the same amount. 
So it's another gym thing where you got to do it right now. Get it done so you get so you get a new one as soon as possible. Luckily for me, I left up the good one. And now all I missed out on was like 20 gems instead of 100 gems. But if you're, let's say it's Monday and you got like kill 100 brown enemies for 20 gems or something. And you don't get it done on Monday. It's going to still be there on Tuesday until you get it done. Then you won't get a new one until Wednesday. So you could have missed out on kill 150 pur uh, purple troops for 100 gems. So the more of them you get done, the more likely you are to get a good one. And if you, if you don't finish one, you're going to miss out on one the next day. So now I gotta wait all the way until tomorrow to get a new one, because I finished this today instead of yesterday. All you gotta do is do what it says. Usually something easy. The reason I didn't get it done is because I was like, oh, I'm gonna do everything else because I'm gonna be kill killing purple enemies and I don't want to waste some of the purple enemies and I didn't specifically concentrate on getting it done because I was trying to get other things done and while I was doing the other things I was getting purple kills so I was like oh when I'm all the way done with everything else I'll kill the rest of the purple enemies and I just never got around to it so it finished up today which Lazara's lair has a lot of purple enemies so I'm sure that's where we did it Leveling up Necromancer using my Rowan still. Mark says, that is a crazy dungeon level. What is the lowest level you can go? Those numbers are insane. Uh, level 20 is the lowest you, can, you should go. Or you can go. And that's where you should get to, too. Every person should be striving to get to level 20 dungeon. Because you get more loot. You're going to get more diamonds every, time, every day. The further you go down, the more you'll get. It's more Dragonite. Mostly it's Dragonite, like if you get a perfect run. Like, if, you had, if you're if you on 20 and you got a perfect run, you're going to get 120 Dragonite for a perfect. If you're on, like, 10, you're only going to get, like, 60 or something. So you want to keep going down as much as you can. Like, you don't want to go down so far that you're going to lose. But you want that Dragonite. When you get a perfect, you want as much as you can get. Pure Faction 500? I don't. I haven't done this one. We can take a look at it, though. Professor says, Casual Criminalist Atomic Shrimp? I'll have to remember those. What's it about? Like, what's the channels about? Mark says, First Amendment auditors are fun to watch. Dudes are crazy. Jam Rick says, I watch Root... Ryuker, he plays a lot of difficult... Oh, I, I'm subscribed to that. But I'm subscribed because he played, like, some other games. J.M. Ricks, you know what I'm talking about? He played, like, Ninja Gaiden. He's trying to, like, beat all the super hard games and stuff. And that's why I subscribed. I'm not... I don't really like the Mario stuff. So I subscribe to him, but I don't really watch him that much because I watched all of those, and I'm, like, done with them. That's a good way to get some subs so, uh, subscribers. Like, do something like that. Like, he was killing... He was beating some of the hardest, like, NES games. And he, like, did a whole series of them. Like, there's this other guy I watch. His name is, uh... The Beast. And he's beating every single Nintendo 64 game right now. And his, his thing is also, like, Mario Maker stuff. Like, his main thing is, like, Mario Maker levels. But he's also, like, beating every single Nintendo 64 game. So I subscribed for that. And, you know, I don't watch the Mario Maker stuff. He's very similar to the the guy you're watching, uh, J.M. Ricks. You might want to, uh, subscribe to, uh, The Beast. It's The Beast, like, and then some numbers at the end. I don't know exactly his name. I forget. He just beat, uh, Destruction Derby 64. I was watching that this morning. He picks the games randomly. He's got like a randomizer. Cause there's like three, four, five hundred Nintendo 64 games. Mark says, I love vintage Nintendo play. It brings me back to my childhood. Sana says, I like the Kiffness. 
Dude makes fun music with animal clips and other stuff. He's hilarious. I have to remember some of these. But that's why I asked. Professor says Steve1989 that eats the MREs. I think I've seen that. I like that kind of stuff too. You like go. You ever see like the extreme camping or whatever? They're like camping a median. <laughs> they'll, they'll take a tent into a median of a highway or something and just like try to spend the night there. The, the one guy like camped behind a uh, the Home Depot in the woods, like behind a Home Depot. Like the whole time he's like looking, making sure no one sees him and stuff like. It's like, I gotta get out of here at 6 a.m. Because that's when the trucks start coming. And blah, blah, blah. Dr. Moppus is caught up. That's cool. Supernova says, Simon of Brian Blaze is such a goof. Keeps me laughing all through his vids. Sana says, there have been reports that the Mad Mage has grown more powerful as a result. During Delves and Lazara's Lair, the wrong rooms are... Oh, wow. Professor says casual criminalist is true crime. Atomic Shrimp is just a smart guy doing whatever. That's cool. I might have to check that out. Dr. Moff says gardening, homestead channels, and trial commentary. Sounds good. I like some of those uh, home flipping shows like The Brothers and like The Las Vegas Dude. And I don't know if that's still like they're still active, but I think The Brothers are, right? They're on the commercials and everything. Doesn't Vanilla Ice flip houses? I don't know why, like, Gardening Homestead made me think of the Flipping the Houses channels. Police body cam, I know. I love that. I just, well, Sometimes cops will just randomly come on. I'll be watching something else. And then, like, you know, I'll be working or something or whatever. And you know how, like, it just auto-plays the next thing? It'll be cops. And then I just won't turn it on off for the rest of the day. I just leave cops on for the rest of the day. I don't usually, like, pick it. I'm not searching it out. Like, you know, Hoo, bad boys, that one. But if it comes on, like, out through auto-play, and sometimes I won't turn it off for the rest of the day. I'm just watching it. It's one of those... It's like Good Mythical Morning, if that comes on, you kind of just, sometimes you let it run. Just keep watching it. What's well, a median? That's like the middle of the road, like between a highway. There's like the road and then grass and then the road going the other way. And it's like the grass in the middle. Pretty crazy. Oh, you can click on that and it'll take you somewhere. It doesn't take you to the best spot, though. All right, let's see what the poll says. You got, like, 15 seconds to go vote on the poll if you haven't voted yet. And it'll probably be the last thing we do today. Whatever you guys decide on that poll that's running right now, probably be the last thing we do. We revved it up a little bit, though. We got it running. Professor tried to turn on the music. I don't know, maybe. Let's see. This is all just nothing official. <laughs> I just always... Definitely got the engine going, that's for sure. We, we're, trying to, we're trying to find the right, the right song at the moment. You ever get in the car and, like, turn it on and then all of a sudden, like, you just, like, super loud music plays all of a sudden? That's kind of what's happening on the train. So a random song just playing super loud when we start it up. We forgot that we had it up so loud and it's on a different song now, different channel. It's like, hallelujah, it's right, man. Like, all of a sudden. Like, I wasn't listening to that, I promise. Why is it so loud then? I don't know. I must have been listening to something else before I turned the car off. How come every time we get in the car and we turn it on, it's hallelujah, it's raining men, as loud as it could be, all the way up. It's not It's not the first time, Sanny. This is like the fifth time this has happened. This cannot be a coincidence. 
All right, let's end the poll. I don't even know. I haven't looked at it. Let's see. End poll. All right, some underspire. I need to do that. So let's go do it. I need to do this. We got the Doom Spade Double Catcher Soothsayer. Let's put in a chapter, too. Be smart. Under Spire. I put PvP in the title just because it's three letters and it was easy to fit in there. And it's like something we might do. So hopefully nobody's disappointed. I think PvP is so easy now. With everything they added. If you're just if you're playing it smart. Which smart to me is just getting it done faster using the new stuff they gave you. So there's way too much going on. Let's make sure we're in the right spot here. We went through this door, we did the first boss, now we're past the door. So we either gotta go here or here. And we're already going this way, so let's go. I don't have any like you know, reasons as to why I go any certain ways. I feel like they always fail. People bring them up all the like follow the, the level. The higher the level goes, you'll get to the blah blah blah. It's six off the main path and doot doo doot. Doo. None of that and then every time like every other time somebody tries that it fails. So I don't like um recommending things that aren't working every single time. Like, yeah, it might work for you, I guess, but I don't wanna like tell y'all like hey you gotta follow the this or that to go this or there because because it doesn't work you'll do it and then you won't get there and then you'll be like what the heck is he talking about i'm just seeing it fail way too many times like it might work like 60 percent of the time like some of the things I got a sentinel. Maybe that's how I got so many sentinels as a free-to-play that's not going all the way to seven. I just randomly, like, I don't even have a reason as to why I'm going any which way. It's most likely I'm only going to the second boss. I'm only doing my free torches right now, so I'm al I am always got enough torches to make it to the second boss. Because I'm not really trying to make it to the fourth boss, because I know I'm probably not going to get there. And the third boss is terrible, so it doesn't matter if I'm, like, going every which way and not... Heading in the right direction half the time because I got enough torches to get to where I want to get. And I'm only doing the free ones. And I might get sentinels. So it doesn't feel like I'm doing the wrong thing. There was an extra turn. What a dummy. Um... But you never heard me say any kind of uh, theory as to which way to go in the Underspire. Because I don't recommend all that business. I think you should just go with your gut. As long as you're not going backwards behind doors you've already passed through. And as long as you're not doing dead ends that aren't sentinels. And as long as you're using your lantern right, not just randomly using it. Like, there's certain things you shouldn't do. Like, I'm not going to go backwards through here unless I'm looking for sentinels after I'm already done. And I'm not going to go to, like, a dead end if there's any, like, here. Like, you see this fight down here? It's a dead end. There's no sentinel. So I'm not going to fight that and waste a torch. There's a couple tips, but other, like, I feel like the first video I made about the Underspire still stands, almost. Every, 90% uh, of that is still good. And that was, like, one of the first days it was out. Because there are ways you can, like, oh, follow the, go the highest level way, or six rooms off the main path, and all that. That stuff does work, but it's, like, 60%. And I don't like, I don't like that. So I don't recommend it. Of course, if you're trying to get to the seventh boss, and you're spending gems, like, maybe you want to try it that way, but I'm not, so. This works for me. And I have three sentinels, three different sentinels. And I get the second boss every week, and I spend zero gems. Let's 
Sana says that it is advised to avoid this faction until the mage's power can be kept in check once more. For real? Good mythical morning. They were doing something. What were they doing today? Like, seeing if you could, uh... Like, if you got... If you get Cheetos on your fingers... Do most people lick the Cheetos off their fingers, or do they wipe them off with a napkin? What do you guys do? If I get Cheetos on my fingers... I don't know. I just, like, try not to, I guess. Sometimes I guess I lick it off. I'm not, like, excited about it, though. You guys excited to lick Cheeto dust off your fingers? Like, I'm not. It's almost impossible to not get it on. I don't eat Cheetos that much, I guess. I'm not a big Cheeto guy. Rather have a good Dorito. If I'm getting chips, like right now I got Wheat Crisp Crackers. Baked Wheat Crisp Crackers. That's what I got. Pretty boring, right? It tastes good, though. I get the off-brand. It's the only time. Like, there's two. I get the uh, Honey and Oats cereal. Like, the Honey Bunches of Oats, but it's just called Honey and Oats. It's like the HR of Gems of War. <laughs> I get the HR uh, Wheat Crisps and um, Honey Bunches of Oats. Like, the, the Frosted Fakes. The General Crunch. I don't know why. They both... They taste better, though. And they're cheaper. Oh. Maybe... maybe I don't know. Maybe, I don't know. There's something like that. I don't know. Most of the time, they don't, though. Usually, the the name brand... Like, Pepsi definitely tastes better than, like... Big K. Usually. Usually, you're better with the name brand. But in this case, for some reason, I like the off-brand better <laughs> but other than like if i wasn't gonna get wheat crisps i might get uh cheese it's i like the toasty ones and i will not get the off-brand cheese it's i like the name brand i get the cine cools i get the cine cool cheese it's i don't get the cheese zips And I got like the Lay's baked, uh, the Lay's baked ones, like just the plain baked Lay's. I get the Cine Cools on that too. I don't get the, the fakies, the fakie copycat, uh, chips. But right now I have two fakie copycats right in front of my face, so I don't know. That's about all I like for chips. I'm not a big... I'm not going to, like, get a giant bag of Doritos or something. Sometimes the kids will get a giant bag of Doritos, and I'll get some of them. I'm not going to eat the whole bag, though. Brown into red. Let's catch us the second slot. That'll kill three things instead of two... Because we are smart. We're not going to shoot on the first slot or the last slot. Sketchers likes the second slot. He doesn't like the first one. We got two sentinels. Let's go. Let's pray to the RNG gods that we get a new one. Or one at all. I've only got three sentinels. And they were all new. So I'm waiting for to get like a repeat. All right, let's see what y'all are saying. I see you there, Yolk the Ham. Give me one sec, and I'll a I'll answer your question there. Rant time. Doctor Mop says got my second duplicate dr uh, cosmic dragon today. Need one more for Diamantina, one more for Stellarix. All right. Good luck. I hope you get it. Supernova says, I love watching speedrunning games. It's like sorcery to me. I only have one speedrun that I do, and, and I have like two videos on it. <clears throat> and it's Dark Souls 2. And I'm not amazing. I'm just under two hours, guy. 
glitchless. Median is called Central Reservation in, in England. Just for your information. We both learned something today. Yeah. Central Reservation, huh? Supernova says my girlfriend licks it off my fingers. <laughs> Mark's uh, addicted to Doritos. I like the Doritos Locos Taco. I like Doritos too. I just don't get them. It's not my thing. But I'll eat them. If they're there and they're free, I'll eat them. Yolk the Ham says, what's some good troops to pair with Iron Gut for this delve this weekend? Um, probably like, isn't Bane of Mercy yellow? Bane of Mercy is amazing with uh, Iron Gut. Uh, Zulgoth is good with Iron Gut. Um, if CT is available, CT. Those are the ones that come to mind. Iron, you can have Iron Gut in first slot, and then you can have like Zulgoth or... I don't know if CT is available though. It's like green, brown, and... I think yellow. So yellow, yeah. So you could do Iron Gut, Hero, CT. Like maybe Wand. and then, Or you can do Iron Gut, Hero, Zulgoth. And then like, you know, Leprechaun or something on the bottom, of course. Or you can do um, Bane of Mercy instead of Leprechaun. Because I think she's yellow, right? Yellow and blue, maybe? And she'll, like, curse everything. That way they can be devoured. And gives attack to the Iron Gut, which makes your devour rate go up. So, yeah, those are some of the best combos with Iron Gut. CT, Zulgoth, Bane of Mercy. Two of them are super high level. So if you don't have Zulgoth or uh, CT, then, um, you know, just do a Bane of Mercy with, like, I don't know, Leprechaun or Thrall and, like, your weapon... Your weapon might need to be some sort of damage dealer so you have something else instead of just like a bunch of mana generators. But if your Iron Gut's devouring, man, you're pretty much good to go as long as it... Because it's probably not going to die. Mm. Can we find somewhere to use this thing? No. Let's get that. Let's just take brown. Of course we're frozen. I don't care though. Uh, it's purple and yellow? Yeah, no problem. I think everything I mentioned was yellow and then the Zulgoth is purple. Alright, come on Sentinel! Ah, we got our torch back. Let's go do this one. Maybe we'll get a Sentinel. Everybody pray to the RNG, RNG Jesus. Jesus emojis in the chat, please. I don't know if we have those, sorry. RNG Jesus. Whoops, hope you didn't hear that. <laughs> that was like a first. You don't even want to know. Mark has one sentinel. Like, how often are you doing the underspire? Like, how far are you going and stuff? Like, that'd be good information to add on to. Uh, how many sentinels do you got? I kind of like to, oh, I got this many, and but I go all the way, and I do every single room every single week. Or, hey, I got this many, but I only do the free battles. And Ah, come on. Hey, we got out there with the, we gained a torch, I guess. Wasted a little bit of time, but gained a torch. Adam, you're trying to get the Horde Mimic Mythic? Good luck. That is totally off the beaten path, and... You know, I wouldn't recommend it unless you got everything else done for the day because it's not really worth it. But, you know, I'm going to be there with you one one day, so. I don't know when because they keep adding so much other things into the game that it's like, when am I ever going to be able to go after the Horde Mimic Mythic? Like right now, imagine. I got so many things to do. I got to finish this Underspire. I got to go do a certain amount of PvP. Right? I gotta do some Tower of Doom for sure. And then I probably want to open some Vault Keys because next weekend is the Vault Event. By the time I get all of that th all that done, I'm gonna be done playing for the day. I'm not gonna have time to go and do, like, some Explore. I just feel like there's so much you should be doing that 
you almost you like have to be done with everything else before you go hunt uh horde mimic mythic but some people man their their only goal in life is to do achievements so i get it if that's the type of you know player you are i'm not a big achievements guy i did do a video like about how to get all the achievements in the game though I don't know if I had I have like everything on there because it was I made it like nine months ago maybe. But I tried to help the achievement hunters because I know there's a few out there. I just don't I don't I was like addicted to achievement hunting for like a good six months to a year of my life, and then I just like didn't like nobody sees them like you're the I don't know. I guess it's kind of like collecting something. Like if you collect, if you have like a collection of, uh, I don't know, albums or something, maybe like you have a bunch of records, like nobody really sees them, but you see them, I guess, and you like them and you collect them and you get different albums and records and like, it's a fun thing for you to do. It's just, but they're like worth money and you could like sell them and get like achievements aren't worth money. Like, I don't know. It's not a direct comparison. It's like, I just don't get the achievement thing. If I was to advise a person, I would say don't go after the Horde Mimic Mythic unless you got everything else done for the day. And then you're free to do whatever you want. But there's definitely people out there, I know, that they love their achievements and they're that's like the first thing they're thinking about. But you can't you can't be an achievement hunter and then complain about not having Stellar Ricks or, you know, not winning the pvp leaderboard or not having a certain amount of gold elite mythics and like complaining about pets or anything like that it's like you made your decision to be an achievement hunter and now you have to take the good with the bad you're gonna spend this amount of time doing that instead of doing whatever else and that's why you don't have whatever else but you could have everything in the game for all i know Why'd I do yellow? I should have cast Soothsayer. What am I doing? I pretty much have all the achievements except for that, I think. You can get them just like... That's the other thing. Like You can get all the achievements without even trying. So The people that hunt down all the achievements are like... I have the same as you and I didn't even try. Except for I don't have that either, and I'm going to have to do that too, and I'm going to be just like you, and so you're probably just where I'm going to be. That's a hard one. That's complete RNG, and you got to do an, a completely off the beaten path thing that's really not helping you. That's difficult. That's probably the hardest thing to do in the game, don't you think? Get the Horde Mimic Mythic. Once you get it, like you're like, oh, it was eat. Uh. For the people that don't have it. It's like one of the hardest things to go and like get motivated to go get because there's no real reward for getting it and it's you're doing a mode that's not really helping at a certain point there's some crazy noise outside right now let me take a look sounds like a duck oh wow it's a Walmart van and it's backup beep is like sound like a duck. <laughs> Instead of beep, 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 it was going quack, quack, quack. <laughs> like what is that? You only see it around here, y'all. Of course it's a Walmart van, first of all. Second of all, of course the backup <laughs> the beep is a weird quacking noise remember i described my uh my community my neighborhood as walmart if you want to know exactly walmart i forgot to use my no i used it so let's do this we got our second boss that's what we wanted that's our ultimate goal i could be done right now if i really want to be i might go hunt down some sentinels though 
Like, once I get to the second boss, this becomes less important to me. I'll go do PvP, I'll go do, like, Vault Keys, I'll do anything else, and then this'll be the thing I do later. Like, if I have more time, I'll come back and use up the rest of my torches and look for Sentinels. But once I get the second boss, that's, like, kind of my bare minimum goal, and now it's not as important. Uh, this soothsayer slows me down, because I'm always looking for, like, oh, can I make a match somehow, or, you know, where should I cast it? I should probably just cast it in the middle and forget about it. Let's see... Mark said he had one sentinel, and then he said every week, fourth boss is my best so far. So you're doing, like, the free ones? Um. Mark says, are sentinels and the horde mimic mythic the rarest items in the game? Probably. Yeah, because it's like RNG. Like, you can get Stellarix eventually. If you just buy the dungeon offer every day, you're going to you're gonna get it. I mean, you got to open the eggs and stuff. But, like, the eggs are there for you to open and you're going to get a dragon. Like, you can, you could do a whole entire uh, Underspire and, I don't know, maybe not even see a Sentinel. But if you go and open an egg, you're going to get a dragon. Like, it might not be the right one, but you're not guaranteed a Sentinel. Same with the Horde Mimic Mythic. You could do a bunch of boss chests in a row and you're not guaranteed to see a Mimic. So yeah, I think, as far as like the way I'm, like, what am I missing? I've been playing the game for seven years, I have everything in the game pretty much, except Horde Mimic Mythic and all the Sentinels. That should just show you right there what's the hardest things to get. I play every day, I've been playing for seven years, I have everything, and what am I missing? Those are probably the hardest things to get, you know? Alright, I think I'm gonna call it there because i have a certain amount of time for i have to leave and it's just enough where i could probably eat lunch and maybe do like one little thing but i do appreciate you guys today thanks for uh stopping by getting that thing started just because we didn't go anywhere you know maybe tomorrow we'll go somewhere we're doing okay this month so we just can't let it peter out is all i gotta say we just can't let it peter out um because i want i want to keep going April and May, let's go. March gets April and May, let's go. We're doing good, we're doing good. I let you, I'm letting you all know. I keep you up to date. You know, if every if the second half of the month goes exactly as the first half went, we'll be completely fine. And we got a chatathon, so it's looking good, looking fine. Um, but yeah, tomorrow we got spoilers. We'll be going over all the spoilers probably earlier because it's the weekend. We're probably going to be closer to that 10 a.m. start time. I'll put out a reminder, though, for you so you know exactly when. Spoilers with, like, autoplay on the screen, and then after we're done with the spoilers, which we only have to do the one this time, no Switch, because Switch is uh, merging, which is awesome. Celebrate that. Monday, Switch is on the same timeline as everybody else, so we do not have to do spoilers for Switch. So that'll cut out a little five-minute uh, section and we'll get to the uh, gameplay quicker. So tomorrow we'll probably do more faction. We, I really need to do some Tower of Doom. You know, I'll let you guys vote maybe on whatever we do. But yeah, if, I, if I'm going to keep... I gotta, I'm probably going to have to play tonight. I'm probably going to have to do a little bit of PvP, a little bit of Tower of Doom. And, um, you know, just check on everything. Make sure I got everything done. I'm on track for the week. Because I'm not done for the day. Like, I got to do... I definitely need to play, like, some faction. I barely went anywhere. I'm only on, like... 50 or something at max and you gotta do like quite a bit i think you gotta what do you gotta go to to get all rewards isn't it like 250 300 somewhere around there so if you wanted to you could break it out into three days divide it by three like what do you got 10 10 on each so you know you might have to do 10 a day 10 layers something like that it might be a little bit less and if you're going to 500, you really got to go hard. You got to break that out. Do however many a day to get to 500. Then you got to leave yourself a little bit of leeway in case it's super hard. And it takes you a while to beat that pure faction 500. So, 
You know, just break everything up. That's how I play. You know, PvP, I need this many points. Divide it by seven. The faction event, I gotta do this many layers. Divide it by three. The Tower of Doom, we got this many days left. I wanna get to 30. I'm on 16. 14 divided by three. I gotta do like five, five levels a day. So, that's how I would recommend. Don't just like... You'll get annoyed if you have to do a whole bunch of something in one day. Like when I left the Legends Reborn until the weekend and then it was like way more than I remember it being. I was like so frustrated on Sunday trying to finish it. I'm like, oh my goodness, why'd I leave so much? That's how, you get, how you'll get irritated with the game. You gotta kind of treat it like a job almost. And like do a certain amount per day and divide it by however many days you got. And you'll be less frustrating that way. And you'll make sure you get everything done too. Mark, uh, let's see, Supernova says I have to eat the flaming hot chips with safety glasses because somehow the dust flies off the chip and into my eyes. <laughs> that reminds me of, like, shaving my mustache and, like, the, the hairs, like, fly up into my nose and into my mouth. <laughs> Dervicious says I got the Horde Mythic by accident while running a gap last month. You're so lucky, man. I wish I got it like that. Because I've done so many vault events and done so many boss chests. You think I would have seen it by now, but I just haven't. Professor says I waited way too long to do Gemma Logica. Was very helpful to set priorities. Ooh, I'll have to check that out. I know people mention that. I haven't really looked at it. It probably is a good uh, resource. Yeah, good job, Dervicious. Adam says, yeah, trying to get it for the achievement, but I only do 5 times level 12 Explorer at the end of the day and 20% bonus kingdom, so it's 6 to 5 quick battles that's good i'm glad you're doing it like that i don't i want to i don't want like a person jumping on the game and the first thing they're doing is like hunting the horde mimic mythic because then you're gonna like forget to do something that you need to do dude dervicious i wish i got that lucky adam says i kind of play the game normally while it's fun and achievements help me to set some goals challenges in the game so it's more fun for me Mark says, I wish you were my neighbor. You'd be fun to hang out with at a barbecue. Maybe. I'm not I'm not super social. I'm not as social as you guys think. I don't really go hang out with people IRL too much. Like maybe my brother every once in a while and Yeah. I don't know. I don't really like anybody. <laughs> I think I have an annoy uh, an annoy dar. You know how I, I described it before? Like I can tell if people are annoying. And then, like, if you start hanging out, like, people bug you. Like, if I could just come hang out whenever I want, like, that'd be cool. But then they're knocking on your door, asking you for stuff. Like, I just, I don't know. I don't really do too much. I hang out with my family and, like, my fiancé, my Mrs. Cinny, and my, uh, my brother. But other than that, I'm not, like, going to neighbors and throwing a football or anything like that or barbecuing. Because I don't like very many people honestly <laughs> adam says at the moment i kind of can win most of the matches even though i still miss some need to have troops like diamantina stella however t tesla is pretty quick you're right about that if you don't have a uh, stella or or diamantina then uh tesla is probably your best way to go professor says yeah rare you'll never have all the troops now i know dude look let's see what i got right now i'm just curious I know this is kind of a flex. I just need the two these Sentinels. I need the Horde Mimic Mythic. There's this new Tarot card. The Midnight King. Midnight hasn't come back around. Queen of Wands. That's going to be in the uh, Vault Key Drop table eventually if it's not already. King Stormguard literally just came into the game. This was the one before that. And then we got another Sentinel and a Valhawk. I don't even know how you get a Valhawk. Is that like a Vault? Yeah, Vault Keys. So some of the, a lot of these are vault key stuff, like one, two, three, or vault key stuff that probably just aren't in the drop table yet, or they're they just got there maybe. And then three of them are sentinels. And then you could count like the mimic is kind of like a sentinel. And then you got like pay troops. All I need is midnight to come back around. I got the midnight king. All I need is for them to put certain things into the Vault Key drop table, and I can get, like, Judgment, Queen of Wands, and Valhawk. And then all I need is, like, you know, Drifting Sands needs to come around, Wild Plains come back around. It's just a matter of time on most of them, except for the ones that are, like, Horde Mimic and the Sentinels. 
though. It's pretty cool, like, for totally free to play. That's why... I don't know. That's why That's why I gotta put what I point to as... Am I good at the game? Oh, this is one thing I could show you without actually, like, doing an epic trial or arena or something. Like, I can just pop over here and be like, take a look at this. This is the only troops I'm missing. But yeah, I'm out of here, you guys. Thank you so much. Like, share, subscribe, consider joining. It helps a lot. Tell your good about the channel. Comment below. I'll see you tomorrow for that spoiler video. Probably around 10 a.m., 10.30 at the latest. Thanks for joining me today. Sauna, The Professor, Adam, Mark, Dervicious, The Professor. We got Dervicious. We got Dr. Mops. I should make Dr. Mops a moderator. We got Mark. We got Yoke the Ham. I don't, the reason Dr. Mops isn't a moderator is because you disappeared for a little bit and then you came back. As you probably already would have been one because you've been around for so long. Supernova, Effley, Professor, Beg for Mercy. Beg for Mercy was a moderator, then he has to not be a moderator, so that's why he's not a moderator. JM Ricks, Mark Jose, Ridia, JM Ricks, Mark, Tyrion Shark was here today. He will not get fined. F. Lee, Rydia, da, 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 Dragor, Maka, <clears throat> Live Wire, Chad, The Clip Bomb, Mike D was here, Glorfindel, good to see ya, buddy. I don't like when people call me buddy. I don't know why I say buddy when I don't like when people call me buddy. So I should probably stop saying buddy. I don't like Buddy. Buddy. R E. So that was a. Sorry about that, Glorfindel. Sauna was first, Livewire second, Effley third. And the train business. What? Chad running out there, butt crack a show in. A rag in his back pocket. Glorfindel took the rag out, covered up his butt crack. Mark said, hey, let's get those suspenders on so you don't have to do that. And then we can work on it. And Sana said, hey, let's start that thing up. Start a revenant and stuff. Annoy the neighbors. And Professor was trying to turn on the music. And it we, we, we started up the engine and the music just turned on real loud. It was on the wrong station. Hallelujah, it's raining men. And while that was all happening and we were denying that we actually were... Listening to that song, we got devoured by, by the zombies. They got there, you know, they heard the loud music. That's their favorite song. And uh, we got devoured. You don't wanna? I can't make you? Ah! Nobody wants to be one. All right, y'all. Have a good day. I'll see you tomorrow. Um, thank you so much for being here. Peace out.